I am driving solo temporarily. So I'm gonna just show you how it is, what it's like to be driving solo with TRS2. So here we go, guys. Like I said, I'm cleaning the truck out. I've already cleaned up a few things. Like I said, here's the trash bag right now full of paperwork and stuff. And, um, you know, I got to sweep the floor still. You know, put a few things in certain places. Clean out certain areas still. But besides that, you know, I already cleaned up this top part right here. I put the documents that came with the truck right here. I got a little paper towel over there. Um, I already cleaned out all of these cabinets. Well, that's mine still from the food and stuff I got. Um, I'm going to clean this out a little bit more. Like I said, nothing too crazy, guys. Uh, the fridge is already cleaned out as far as food goes. It's not dirty either. You know, if I had some extra time, I'd probably clean out more. But, you know, <laughs> some more cleaning products. Um... Already cleaned out in here. Already cleaned out in here. And I'm just gonna clean out this side. I figured I'll probably keep my clothes in here or something. My my, my bag with all the clothes and stuff. Maybe I'm not sure yet. Um I don't know what this is. I'll probably keep my dirty clothes down here or something, or some shoes. I, I don't know. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to clean out the bed area. Yeah, so, oh, and I almost forgot. Got a few areas up here. I clean up here. And then I'm going to put my stuff in there, guys. So I'm going to hit the back to my house real quick and grab some, you know, like a broom and stuff and just, you know, dust all this dirt out and stuff like that and um yeah so the next time you see me i'll probably move my stuff in here guys look who came to help guys the cavalry <laughs> what's up baby what are you doing clean the truck out uh, trying to help me yeah sure all right let's get it Woo. All right, guys, so I'm back in the truck. I had to sit down because the AC is feeling really refreshing and cool right now. It's kind of hot outside. I'm kind of sweating too. So I'm back in the truck. I brought a bunch of stuff in here. I'm gonna just put them in their places. Got a book bag for my laptop and all my wires, like phone chargers and those things. And then I got my bag with all my clothes, my bed sheeting, my bed spread, all that stuff. Um, then I have a grocery, like all my groceries are right here. I'm gonna put those in the fridge and in the other places in the truck. So I'm just gonna cool down a little bit before I start working again. Yeah, guys, so basically, like I said, there's my book bag that I, that there's my book bag that got all my laptops and wires, phone chargers, and so forth. I'm gonna plug them in where they gotta go. You know, I got like all of here and one there. And I got a outlet right here and an outlet in the back here. Yeah, right there. So I have an extension cord, a really small one. I plug that in right here as well. Um, throw this away. And then my bag that got all my clothes in there and my bed in, I'm gonna go ahead and put my bag in here and then get the sheet out and put the sheet on the bed, of course. And um, I got my pillow up there right now. So here's all my groceries. Now, I do have a lot of bread. And you can see why I make sandwiches. Got a little tomato to go with it. You know, vegetables every day and stuff. So, and I got some uh, pineapple. I bought two, two pineapples and I cut them all up. Got some crackers for snacks some trail mix for snacks this is actually a very good buy i would say normally i buy a bag of peanuts or like a car in a peanut or whatever it's called like a you know peanuts that come in a bottle you know like dry roasted non-salty peanuts because you don't need too much salt I'm trying to close this back guys there you go so yeah normally i'll buy the peanuts and then i'll buy like um cranberries separately 
but this is a pretty good deal i think this maybe had cost me maybe three dollars maybe four four max and it's eight on the go and you know it comes with peanuts raisins you know all type of stuff and it's eight packs so i think that's a pretty good deal found this i found this at aldi so if you guys want to go to to aldi all this was from there actually all this stuff is from it's from the same place from all these aldi so we got some instant noodles i bought this from i want to say bravo maybe and some you know some fruits here avocado hopefully it's not spoiled and i got some stuff to help me stay awake chew with some gum put that right here by the other pack of gum so i got some little chocolates just to in case i'm falling asleep chocolate will probably help me stay awake you know it's like sugary and stuff so i'm gonna put those cold stuff into the fridge okay so all the cold stuff is in the fridge now eventually guys i do want to do like a meal prep instead of making sandwiches and so forth i want to cook like a bowl of rice a bowl of chicken maybe instead of rice do like sweet potatoes or something just something that'll you know i could like make a big portion of it and it'll last me a while i think that's kind of the best way to go sandwiches are cool and all but you know eventually you probably get tired of eating a sandwich which i do so that's done um i'm gonna put this bag where it's supposed to go and take the sheet out and you know spread the bed all right so the bed is pretty much set uh, i'm just gonna put i put the jack put the clothes in here put the little thing in here i don't know where to put my jacket right now so i'll just keep it i guess on the passenger seat for now i'll just keep it right here for now but i do want to put the rest of these up just checking back in guys so like i said this is my first time driving solo and i got the trailer i just picked up an empty trailer i'm at a frontline repair shop and i'm picking up an empty trailer here so i finished you know packing up my truck for the most part now i am driving solo temporarily so i'm just show you how it is what it's like to be driving solo with crs2 so like i said they got me in the frontliner um, yard Here's my empty trailer. Just doing what I normally do. Try to get the kingpin locked up with the locking jaws. I just bring it straight back and I should be good. You know, I'm still new, so I just like to double check, you know? So I made it, guys. My first solo trip from Florida to Georgia. It was about a four hour, maybe three and a half hour drive, but I made it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this empty trailer off and then I'm gonna pick up a, a, a load, okay? guys so my first day driving solo has been a complete success as you guys seen i backed up a trailer at the shipping yard i got it in there and i went ahead and picked up a trailer at that same yard and just left and that was in georgia and now i'm in north carolina and i'm on the way to, to uh, new york so first day pretty good i drove pretty much until i had no time left i got 16 minutes left on my drive time so that means I drove for the whole 11 hour shift. And I did pretty good because I think I got like 580 miles left to get to New York. So I think that's pretty good mileage. So the, so I was supposed to be done. I was supposed to reach New York by the 27th. Today is the 25th. So I think I'll be there pretty early. 
should be there on time, you know? So, yeah, I'm pretty exhausted right now. I'm gonna grab a quick bite, um, make a little sandwich and brush my teeth and then go to sleep. And tonight I did something different, something I never done before. I parked the truck at a off ramp. So as you can see, I'm at an off ramp right now. Kinda feels a little different. I got the woods right here. Well, not really the woods wood, but you know, a little cut out of the woods. I think this is the actual woods right here. So let's close these blinds. We don't want no horror movie on the side of a ramp here, you know? So like I said, I'm gonna make a sandwich and eat that. And I do have my toothbrush and toothpaste and I got some water. So I'm gonna use that to wash my mouth. I'll um, brush my teeth and just rinse out my mouth. So for now I'm gonna, I probably need those shades in the morning when the sun is shining. Let's close these blinds up really quick so it's nice and dark in here. I don't have a microwave in here either or else I would have probably heat this up. But I do have some bread. I do have some turkey sauce, some turkey meat. So I'm gonna make a sandwich instead. Tomato right here. First night solo. The best day ever. All right, guys, what's up? What's up? It's your boy Cayenne. I'm still here. Day two. Just got off a of sleeper berth and I already did my pre trip. It should be here somewhere, but yeah, I'm already on my pre trip right now, so I'm done. And I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like outside. time to get on the road <clears throat> what's going on guys just checking back in uh last time you saw me i think i was at a parking i have parked somewhere i pretty much was just you know waking up but now i'm in pennsylvania for a fuel stop so i got the fuel going i got already 600 dollars worth of fuel but I ain't paying for it. Yeah, so I figured while my fuel is fueling, doing this thing, I went ahead and heated up some food I had made at the house. Yeah, so I'm currently fueling up, like I said, and I figured while I'm fueling up, I'll just go ahead and um, heat up my plate of food I got. So the food is hot right now, I'm still fueling up. I'm gonna wait till I'm done, then just cap everything up, pull up and just eat right here at the fuel station. Um, traffic getting here was horrible, man. Horrible, man, horrible. Like, I drove through Virginia, traffic horrible. Uh, Pennsylvania traffic, horrible. It was just so much cars on the highway, it was crazy. Like, it didn't make no sense to me. I was so stressed, man. Like, so much cars, they were all driving slow stop and go stop and go stop and go the good news is like i said i made it fine the only problem i have right now is my drive time man like i had everything planned i was gonna you know drive from point a to point b get my fuel then i had i would have had enough time to drive from the, this fuel stop to the shipper yard but the way how things are looking right now i may not have enough time to get there so let me see so I gotta get to this stop right here. It's three hours away. Let's just call it four hours away, you know. And I got, yeah, it's not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Cause of the dang traffic, man. Three hour, I got three hours and 28 minutes left to 
to drive. And like I said before, the place is, wow, it's kind of, kind of close. So I'm gonna just finish fueling up, eat this food and dip. So <clears throat> there's the fuel guys. Like I said, I was riding on empty the whole time because it was just so much traffic, but I got it fueled up and I'm gonna get the depth because the depth is really low too. Like I was saying, guys, I'm gonna just try to, you know, munch, Can I go munch? this food real quick, real fast. And I want to say shout out to the cute husky right here. Who let my dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Your boy is here. I made it to the shipper. I got 11 minutes of dry time left, but that's cool because I put it in yard moves. Basically saying that I'm driving, but I'm not driving like driving you feel me i'm just moving around this yard so i could get this load dropped off so that's gonna save me a little bit of you know time and headaches there but i made it to the shipper they gave me a little map i'm actually at uh oh um, i think they said where's my i think i'm at cole's i think cole's drop off cole's yard so basically i'm just gonna let's make sure that's not on dry okay let me just stop real quick because i really don't want to get in violation right now and then on top of that there's a yard there's a, a 24 hour restaurant available like nine minutes away so that'll give me like just enough time to drive there you know what i mean so okay still says i'm on yard move So I'm gonna put this in the little phone mount I have and then turn off this light. Cause having the light on while I'm driving, it kind of makes it hard to see through the glass, through the windows. Like, so you see, I'm seeing myself. I need to see outside, not, not see myself. You know what I mean? So as you guys can see, it's a pretty foggy night. I was driving through the fog to get here actually. The highway was pretty foggy. Well, I guess I'll just hold the phone in my head because it's already doing a good job. So. I'm already doing a good job. So you said go to row six. Row, yeah, row six. Which is pretty much the last row. I should have been counting, but I wasn't counting. Let's see what it says here. Row six. Row six is after row five D E F. So F right here. See row six. F. And this right here is F right here. So I was pretty close. So I'll park it. F and that's G. So right here is where I'll park it at. So I'm gonna put this camera down now. Ooh, I see a good spot right over here. You know, I want to make it as easy as possible. It's already late night. I'm tired. I've been driving all day. I'm about to make it as easy as possible for myself. You know what I mean? Pull up. Oh, actually, here's a light right here so I can see where I'm backing up. You guys can see. Look. Just real quick. I did a good job on to the next so i just dropped this empty trailer this loaded trailer and now i'm going to pick up the empty trailer empty should be down there somewhere i think i've seen a few of them and then i want to leave yo look at this flashlight i love this flashlight look at all this i think that's moisture in the air like i said it was pretty foggy tonight so i'm guessing that's like moisture in the air so i found the trailer Looking a little rusty. Rusty! Look at this little dent. Come on, man. CRST gotta do better, man. It's a quick walk around. Before I even choose to hook up to it, I wanna make sure it's okay.
you know? The brakes, still looking on the thin. Mm, okay, I guess we'll do. I found a restaurant and I was able to park there. So I got the trailer. I found this restaurant. It's actually on the, the Coles paperwork. They had a restaurant that wasn't too far away. So I came here, I parked my truck. I'm not gonna lie, it's a cool spot. It came clutch because I didn't have much hours left to drive at all. I actually ran my clock out all the way. Zero driving hours and zero shift hours. Trying to finesse the system, the finesse did not work. So luckily I found this spot. I kind of played myself though. I tried to park it in a spot that wasn't the best spot to park it in. But in my defense, I did kind of spaz out because, you know, I pretty much ran out of clock. So I was a little bit, you know, spazzing out because this never happened before. So, you know, that's what happened. And I guess that's a solo problem. Being a, being a solo driver, you got to park by a certain time. It's not like you can just pull over on the side of the road and switch drivers. So, you know, lesson learned. I parked my truck um, barely, but, you know. Listen, y'all, I really can't stress to y'all how much I really play myself trying to park in that spot. Because I saw the spot and I knew it was too tight, but I said, you know what? I ran out of my time. I got no time left. I'm going to just try to park it out of the way. It definitely was out of the way, but it just wasn't a good spot, and I still try to do it. So I'm going to just de-stress myself a little bit, watch my show, an episode or something, and just eat a sandwich and go to sleep, man. I'm, I'm tired. But tomorrow I do get a new co-driver, that's a temporary one. So we'll see how that goes. Peace. Drop a like. Drop a comment. And subscribe. YouTube, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is when you're seeing this. But day two of being a solo driver with, uh, is just complete. I just woke up, took a bird bath. Now I'm gonna, you know, get started in my day. Yeah, so 10 hours of sleep and bird complete. On duty, status change to pre-trip inspection. So let's get that going for a little bit. Yeah, so I'll take a bird bath, you know, put some lotion on, change my clothes and all that stuff. Put some smell good on. Now I am trying to grow my hair out, so I'm trying to keep my hair in condition with stuff that help you grow. I had locks before, I'm trying to get them back. So if you guys have any tips, tricks to, grab, to, to make my hair grow, let me know. Say something in the comment section. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get my day started, guys. Go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you are subscribed, then shout out to you for coming back. I appreciate you. All right, guys, see you later. Keep it slow, fam. How to come check back in with you guys just to let y'all know what I'm doing right now. So I already picked up my new co-driver. And since then, we've been moving a bunch of empty trailers from point A to point B. So they got me doing an empty right now. I'm bringing this empty off from New York to from Cranberry, New York. And I'm bringing this to, oh man, I'm getting it mixed up. So the point is I'm picking up an empty right now and I'm gonna bring it to wherever it needs to go. So I think I'm at a, I forgot what shipper I'm at. I think, I don't even know where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's been a long day. But here we are at the shipping yard. Got the trailer on right now, the empty I just picked up and I'm gonna bring that to wherever it needs to go. So after I bring it there, I don't have any other, you know, loads or any other trips planned. So after that, I'll try to get a new one and see if they have one available. If not, just call it a night, shut down and we'll start again tomorrow. So fast forward guys, today is Saturday. That last clip you guys saw me in, that was Wednesday. Now we did get a new load. We actually got a load all the way to Arizona. I think it was about 2,300 miles in total. We knocked it out in about two days. Um, and now we're on our way to another load, which is very short. It's only 152 miles. So my drive time is up. So she's gonna drive. 
But after that, um, we'll see what else we get. Thanks for staying tuned all the way to the end. So we finally got through with our first trip, me and my team driver. We got all the way to Arizona from New Jersey. And um, we just dropped off our load and we got a new trailer. And here's the empty right here. So this is the final step. We're gonna go ahead and close the door. And I think our first trip was a nice success. We pretty much had until six o'clock tonight to drop it off. But we actually got here at like four o'clock. So we got, we got here pretty early. You know, we rode through all the mountains. I pretty much drove through all the mountains. I was in, I drove through Arizona. The mountains were beautiful. Um, a lot of steep downgrades and so forth, but you know, made it through. Safe and sound. Uh, I think I might need two hands to close this. So hold on one second, guys. Yeah, I didn't close it. I think I might leave it open until I close this one. So yeah, Arizona was pretty cool. Like I said, it has some beautiful, beautiful mountain views. It was amazing. I saw like clouds and trees and everything. It was, it was beautiful. I couldn't take any pictures though because I was going downhill. So I was kind of afraid I would not be focused on the road and careen off the dang highway. That one closed perfectly fine. This one can't close. I would kind of hate to leave it open, you know, that's kinda, that's not safe at all. Oh, there we go. See, I'm pretty smart, I figured it out. So there we go, trailer secured. I did my pre-chip, so it's all good. So yeah, guys, do me a favor, I'm gonna end the video now. Do me a favor though, and like, subscribe, and comment. And if you haven't already, um, do it now. If you have, thank you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're if you've been here before, welcome back. Peace, guys. The mic turns on in the stew. We get it through the baby. What's the move? I'm running naughty ends up. You could call me blues clues.